Hi everyone, just a quick update to my previous orbits video. We're back in our familiar 11 million by 4 million meter orbit, but this time we're taking things out of the 2D plane. Specifically, we're going to look at inclination. Now, if you look at our orbit here, you can see that while this moon and these satellites are basically horizontal compared to the planet, we are most definitely not. Uh, this is what inclination refers to, but space doesn't have really a built-in idea of what up or down, horizontal or vertical mean. Inclination is therefore in terms of the plane of your orbit being angled compared to a reference plane. In this case, one that lines up with Kerbin's equator. Now, if you're not familiar with the idea of planes in the geometric sense, then think of them as a very large, perfectly flat surface. Our orbital plane would have one of those flat surfaces laid down on the ellipse withdrawn to show the path of our ship as it orbits. Now the easiest way to see inclination is from the side. So if I line this up here, you can see that the path of the orbit illustrates the plane nicely, and you can see the angle compared to Kerbin's equator. That angle, according to our flight engineer display, is 8 degrees. So now I'm going to talk to you about the two related concepts of ascending and descending nodes. I can't set Kerbin as my target unfortunately because I'm orbiting it, so instead I'm going to use one of these satellites. I believe this one has a very small orbital inclination of 0.8 degrees. So if it sets a target, I now get these ascending and descending node indicators, and they show me the angle between the plane of my orbit and the plane of a satellite's orbit. In this case the angle is 7.3 degrees, as you can see on each indicator here. Now these indicators simply show where the planes of the orbit meet, basically. And you can see that indeed if we line them up, that is where we cross over the orbit of the satellite we set as the target. The idea of ascending and descending though needs another reference, an up and a down. As, as I mentioned before, space has no built-in idea of up and down. But because we're orbiting Kerbin, we can simply use the planet's north and south poles. The ascending node, therefore, is when we cross the reference plane from below. So if you see the ascending node here, we're coming up past the satellite's plane. And the descending node is when we cross it from above. And you see, here's when we cross it heading from above to below. Now, as a side note, if you want to change the inclination of your orbit relative to another body, you generally want to be burning at your ascending or descending node. It's by far the most efficient position, and it stops you from changing other aspects of your orbit. So that was my quick update to bring our orbital knowledge into the 3D realm. As always, I hope this was useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.